Hi, this is Andy from Orbit Media. We build websites and landing pages for hundreds of clients, and many of those clients do paid marketing. They do PPC, paid search, or they do display and paid social. I have noticed that lots of them report on the conversion rates from paid traffic, but there's a problem. Because that overall number, that average, includes conversion rates to paid to all landing pages and from all device types. My recommendation is simple and it's this, stop measuring conversion rates from paid and instead start measuring conversion rates for paid per landing page and for both device types, mobile and desktop. There are huge opportunities. As soon as you see this report, you might stop, you might save tons of money just from running this run, this one uh, GA4 exploration. I'm going to show you now how to create a GA4 exploration that shows you your paid conversion rates per landing page and for mobile and desktop. And you might find thousands of dollars in minutes just by following this little process. Here we go. Okay, I'm inside a client's GA4 account. Uh, I'm going to fuzz out the names so that we don't need to share the names of the clients or their specific pages, uh, but the report works like this. I'm going to go over here to the exploration section, that little crooked arrow pointing up. I'm going to create a new blank exploration, and I'm going to start by naming the exploration because every exploration is saved by default, which is nice, so we're going to, we're going to name it something meaningful so we can get to it more easily, we can share it with others. How about just paid landing page performance? Great. Now I'm going to go back and get a longer date range because more date range, more data. Uh, and this, oh, I'm assuming that there haven't been major changes to their landing pages or their PPC campaigns in that time. Next, I'm going to choose the few dimension, the dimensions that I need and the metrics that I need. Then I'm going to add those in this column and then we're going to see the report over here. Okay, so everything in analytics is either a dimension or a metric. So I'm going to start by clicking and adding the landing pages plus query string. And then I'm going to add the uh, session medium. If you type medium, look out for that one. That's not really what you're looking for. You're looking for the session medium traffic source. This is something else and it's a bit confusing, but uh, look, always look for the word session. And I want, of course, my device category. Device category. That's it. Okay. Now we're moving on to the metrics. These are going to be not green, but blue. We're going to need two different metrics. That's all. I'm going to keep it very simple. I'm going to do sessions. Click to add sessions and import. We don't even need to import yet. I'm going to add the second one, session conversion rate. These are the two that we want. Okay. Now, like an artist, I have these paints on my palette. I'm going to go build the exploration. Okay. That's all there is to it. This is not very fancy. The rows are going to be the landing pages. Great. The values are going to be just the uh, sessions and session conversion rates. Now we're looking at the landing page performance for all traffic with sessions and conversion rates. But we need to add a filter so that we're only looking at traffic from paid. Filters are done down here in the bottom of the settings column. Click to add a filter. The filter is going to be session medium. Medium is the broad origin of traffic. When the medium exactly matches, on this account, it's CPC, cost per click. All right, so when we click apply, now we're looking at the paid per, the performance from paid traffic to every landing page overall. It's interesting already because here's a landing page that has a 0% conversion rate. So we bought visitors that didn't take any action. Uh, I'm going to switch this to a heat map view, a little bit easier to read. The next thing I'm going to do is way more interesting because I'm going to separate this traffic out to be both from mobile and desktop. So for that, I'm going to add a column. This wasn't even possible in the older version of analytics. It's one of the reasons I love GA4 is to choose device category <clears throat> and uh, you can see that now we're seeing desktop and mobile separately. Not set is here, that's not useful to us, so we're going to exclude that by creating a filter just by right clicking, exclude sec selection, that takes out that row. And right away we can see that there's a huge difference in the conversion rates uh, per landing page. Some of these 20% conversion rates, others 0% conversion rates and that they vary wildly across different device types, desktop versus mobile. So right away, as we scan through here, you can quickly see there are some types of visitors who, on some device categories to some landing pages that take no action at all. The opportunity is obvious, right? All we need to do is to log into the, the, uh, 
uh, the Google Ad account or whatever the, the, the you know the, the 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 Meta account or whatever the the camp wherever the campaigns are managed, and just pause or suppress or turn off that ad from that device category to that landing page. Sometimes this can mean tens of thousands of dollars of savings within minutes. Uh, as usual, the hard part is to get the insight. The easy part is actually taking the action. Let's do one more. I'm in a different analytics account now, and I have the exact same exploration set up with the same dimensions, the same metrics. But this one, to add the filter, uh, there's actually two different mediums that I, that I want to use. So if I choose session medium, and I come down here with a session medium, let's say, you know, contains, there's CPC, but there's also one down here for PPC. What if I want to use both? Just super quick, there's, the way to use an OR is to make a matches regex, and then put them both CPC pipe, that straight vertical line, PPC, click apply, and now I've filtered this just to show the traffic from paid, even if it was attributed to CPC or PPC, kind of annoying. You could also do this with a segment where I can just make a session segment and do the basically the exact same thing. There's no difference at all. We would just choose session medium and uh, I would uh, then you know add the filter in the same exact way, name the segment. Uh, that's also a handy way to do it. No difference at all. And while we're in this one, I want to point out one other quick thing. There's a metric that a lot of us don't care much about anymore. Bounce rate. Bounce rate used to be kind of an, imp uh, an in vogue sort of popular metric, uh, but it was always kind of weird because it really just you know could be measuring an experience for a visitor that was very positive, a long visit, or a very negative, just a super quick pogo stick, tiny visit. Uh, so now we use engagement rate, but bounce rate still matters in this context. Bounce rate, when it comes to paid traffic to a PPC landing page or a paid social landing page, is like a measurement of added efficiency. So very useful. So this is the one time when I do still like measuring bounce rate. It's very easy to add. We just do it like this. So I've already added it here, but we would just click the plus. Let's pretend I hadn't yet. Just uh, click the plus, come in, search for bounce rate. There's bounce rate, import. Great, now I've got bounce rate. And all I would do is add it as another value, bounce rate. I kind of put it between the sessions and the conversion rate, sort of it's like a middle of funnel, sort of top, middle, bottom of funnel. Uh, and you can immediately see, we'll exclude not set. You can immediately see that the bounce rate, again, varies wildly. There's traffic. We bought 89 visitors from desktop, 169 from mobile, uh, with a 0% conversion rate and a 90 and 97% bounce rate. Wow. I think there's an opportunity to optimize this paid ad spend. I think that money could be used for many other good things, right? Go get some case studies or shoot a video or anything, right? Except that, um, you know, it's, it, it sort of feels like you found lost money when, you, when, uh, when this works for you. So definitely something to check. Hope this video is useful. If you know anybody else who uh, has a, a paid budget but doesn't talk much about conversion rates or tends to focus on conversion rates as an overall average metric, my friend Jeff Coyle says that average metrics are for average marketers. Drill down, look deeper, check the conversion rates per landing page and per device category. Very likely to find some insights. Uh, so feel free to pass this along. Again, this is Andy from Orbit Media Studios. Orbit is a web, de web design and development company that also does search engine optimization uh, and a team of 55 award-winning uh, digital marketers and web specialists here. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one.